hey guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been like two years since i recorded on this channel so just welcome and most of you guys all of you guys are probably new <laughs> um so the show i'm gonna be reviewing today is legendary and it is about the ballroom scene and um it's on hbo max so if you don't have HBO Max, I don't know if you'd be able to watch it. It is a HBO Max original. And I'm going to probably, or most of the time, be looking down on my notes because I wrote down my notes when it aired or when it premiered. And um, it's just, y'all know everything that's been going on. So I just, I took a breather. I was going to film it then, but I'm filming it now. So a lot of the stuff I'm going to be looking down at my notes to say so bear with me so the host is Deshaun Williams Deshaun Wesley Williams and um the judges are Jamila Jamil Leomi Maldonado Law Roach and Megan Thee Stallion so it's four hosts uh, not four hosts four judges and um, in the second episode, they bring on a guest judge. So I guess that's what they're going to be doing for each and every episode. Um, so I'm going to do episode one and episode two in this video. And episode three airs tonight. Um, so that video, the review of that video is probably going to go up tomorrow. And today you guys will get this. So sorry. Um, so this might be a little longer than it needs to be because it's the first and the second episode together. But I'm going to try to speed through it because I talk a lot. So <laughs> I'm going to try to speed through it and just tell you guys. Episode one is really just me think, um, me thinking or what I think of the contestants. There you go. So um, at the end, they win $100,000 and one one of the houses they're going to win um, being the superior house. So the houses are, there are eight houses, and the houses are House of Lanvin, House of Balmain, Wicked House of Escada, House of Ninjas, House of Ebony, House of Saint Laurent, and, oh no, not in House of Gucci and House of West. So, they all kind of word it different ways when they're doing the intro sometimes. Like for Gucci, it would be the gorgeous house of Gucci or the gorgeous or house of gorgeous Gucci. It's just it's the house of, y'all know the houses and what they are, like I mentioned. Um, so the first one that they showed, I don't know if I mentioned that um, Jamila Jamil is an executive producer of the show. So I feel like a lot of, I'll get that, I'll get to my grab that I have with her episode in like the episode two um, thing. So um, House of Escada, I'll say they're the most, out of all the consistent, contestants houses, they're the most diverse in their individual, like in their group individually. So I don't mind that. I really like that actually a lot. And um, I really just... <sighs> Like, for them to have opened the show, I needed more, like, I'm maybe going to contradict myself saying this, but I like their performance. I just wish their performance wasn't, like, it wasn't grand enough to open up the show. And I don't know if they knew that they were going to open up the show, but, like, they were well synchronized. And I feel like I agree with um, Leomi's point on them, like... There wasn't enough voguing and like this is a ballroom show like give it to us there wasn't enough voguing in their performance and i felt like they just needed to like bring it up a little bit their outfit with the feather and the leather and no i feel like they should have gone really like gone really extreme either with leather or with feathers, like both together. It could be executed nicely if you wanted to do those combos together, but I just feel like for theirs, it just didn't, it just, it wasn't computing for me. It wasn't, it wasn't computing. Um, yeah, so they were just like, it was well paced. It was, it was like, it was nice and smooth. I just, one, like Leomi said, 
I just wish there was more voguing and I just, I wanted more. And they, they just, I wasn't as hype as I feel like I got down the line of the show. So opening the show, you, you got to bring your A game. So the next is um, House of Ebony. So, <sighs> this is called the House of Ebony. And I'm just going to say it. I don't care about being politically correct. I don't like the fact that the house is called the House of Ebony and the mother of the house is a white woman. That doesn't sit right with me. It's not the fact that she's the mother of the house. It's the fact that in the combination of the House of Ebony having a white house mother. Like, no, no. Like, like I said, I don't, I don't have a problem with the name of the house at all. I love it, House of Ebony. I just don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it doesn't sit right with me. I feel like they could, no, no. I don't mind her being in a group. That's not what I'm saying. Like being in a group, she was, she did really good. Like, and I like that she was a voice of reason for um, their house. I just don't think she should have been the house mother. And I said what I said, and I'm not taking it back. <laughs> if you don't like it, I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell you. So sorry. So, so sorry. So um, when it came to their fashion, that's what Laura Roach is really honestly there to judge throughout the whole show. So I'm not even going to. Uh, I'm I'm fine with his criticism, but I exactly understood. They looked like ghetto fabulous. It was like gaudy but chic at the same time. And um, I personally, I thought they were the group, besides the, like the death drop, they were really meh to me. Um, I don't agree with the judges that they had a lot of energy, like a lot of great energy. I just wasn't, I wasn't like hyped, um, like, but... They did fine. I just wasn't hyped. Um, but like that, that's it. That's all I had to say about them. I didn't really, I felt like I had the most to say about them, but it, it, it's not much. <laughs> it's not much. Um, so next was that came on the screen was house of ninja. And, um, I appreciate that they know that they got their name for Willie Ninja, um, from him and, the fact that they can acknowledge that and infuse that into their name and into their costume and into the way that they dance. So um, for me, this was one of the my favorite ones for this episode because they served me looks, they served me body, they served me face, they served outfits, their outfits was on point. And I knew, as soon as I saw them, I knew that Law Roach was gonna like appreciate it. Um, they looked in sync, they looked like one group. Like I feel like if you saw them sporadically in one building in different places, it's, it's very telling. It's like they're telling a story and it looks like they're one group. Like they look like one. Um, they were very in sync with their dancing. And I love that they were also voguing a lot. And the last thing I want to point out for them, I appreciate that Leomi said, it doesn't matter what your gender is. Um, everybody has a room in the ballroom scene. And I just really, really like that coming from her. It, is just very welcoming and I really love that. As a cisgender person, I I always love when we can show our love to um, all everybody that's queer and they understand that we could also kind of occupy that space or be in that space without being, what's the word I wanna use, without taking anything away from them. So I appreciate her saying that. So the next one is House of Gorgeous Gucci. So initially, you know, all the groups, they're giving their um, speech that they are, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, you know, their intro speech and they talk about themselves and, you know, they let us know about where they're from, their stories a little bit. Um, and they said they exude class and fabulousness. I did not get that from them at all. Like <laughs> when they were talking, I was like, uh, I, didn't, I don't see. I, 
I, I, it's not computing. I don't see that. I don't get it. It just what you're saying does not match what I'm. What? No, you're not. Exi okay. No. But once they hit that stage, they give me life. Um, that titty shake, I loved it. They, the, their performance was solid to me. I really, really liked their performance. I didn't have anything negative to say about them at all. <laughs> um, I just don't think that they exude the class and bourgeois feeling that they were saying that they do. Um, but I really liked them. They killed the stage and I just really liked their energy. I felt like this was the point after Ninjas, this was the point where I started to get like really hyped. Um, to see the rest of the other contestants. So next is House of West. So I love that they evoked the most. I think, yeah, I think they evoked the most out of every contestant or every house. I need to start saying house. So you guys, so it's just, it's clear. But um, one, they were very forgettable to me, but they did evoke the most. I remember that. But everything else, it just was like, it's like, I remember them voguing when they were on stage. And once they left the stage, I felt like that was it. It just wasn't like, I don't know. I, they just weren't memorable. But I want to say I did like their makeup. I liked their outfit. Um, even though they evoked the most, I felt like their dance and um, they were all over the place. As a, as a house on the stage, they were all over the place. And I just didn't. There was no synchronicity. Synchronicity? Synchronicity? Wow. They were not in sync. That's, that's what I was trying to say. That was it. So next is House of Saint Laurent. Um, they're also, they're very pretty. Um, now. As soon as I saw them, their intro, this was the house that just exuded bourgeois. They exuded class. They looked fabulous. They just, they just were. They didn't have to like say it. They just were. For me, that's what I got from them. I was just like, okay, I see you. I see you. And their, um, their house mother, she's so pretty. And I liked how they came on the runway of the stage. Um, she was walking like backwards on the stage and I thought that was really cool. I loved, 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 loved their outfit. I felt like it was very, um, very, very editorial, very avant-garde. Um, but I want to say I agree with Leomi. It wasn't anything like spectacular. It wasn't, it didn't. They didn't really do much. I don't, <laughs> they didn't do too much. Their energy, I felt like was low. I felt like they were trying to, even though like we can see that they're classy, they were, it was just too much of that. Like there wasn't any, their performance didn't, it didn't shake up the room, right? So I definitely want to say I agree with Leomi on that. Okay. Okay. So next is House of Long Vaughn. And honestly, I'm gonna touch on their name and the name of Bauman next. I really don't like when people, listen, don't spend all your money on a brand that you can't properly pronounce. Don't name your house on a brand that you can't properly pronounce, okay? Bauman, I'm looking at you, House of Bauman, okay? I'm gonna get to that in a moment. I'm gonna get to that in a moment, okay? Um, House of Lanvon. Um, I will say House of Lanvon probably gave me the best performance of the nights. They came on that stage and ate it up. They performed like they built that stage. They They performed like it was lunch and they ate it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner like they've been starving and they ate that shit. It, their performance was so good. It was my favorite. It was my favorite. It was my favorite. But I'm going to need y'all to like learn how to pronounce Lamar. Okay. 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 I mean, I'm not saying I'm an expert, 
But when you're going to call yourself something and you're spending all this money on a certain brand, you need to be able to pronounce it. Stop playing games. But um, I want to I want to try to end everything that I'm saying on a positive note. But they they killed that shit. One, I want to say they were giving me like. Oh, I'm so I didn't even tell you who I was talking about. Next, actually, is House of Balmain. Now, the house father said that I'm so glad that La Roche brought this up because it bothered me. The whole entire time they were saying Balmain, it bothered me. And I feel like it was just like a throwaway excuse that they came up with after they had already chose their name um, or they were already in, in, like in, in the house and people probably were correcting them. They were like, well, this is just what we're going to go with. Um, but if you're going to say you feel like you are the main, um, what did he say? I wrote it down. The main attraction. Find something else to call your house then that has to do with that. But saying we call ourselves House of Balmain because we're the main um, event or the main, well, I keep forgetting, the main attraction. I just thought that was bull crap. I didn't know, no, call the house what it is. It's the house of Balmain. I need people to be able to understand. <laughs> this is a pet peeve of mine just in life. So I'm sorry if I keep harping on this and it's annoying you. So sorry, sorry. Um, I just, I just need people to pronounce stuff properly. Okay. Okay. Um, so I want to say that their house probably had like one of the saddest stories. Um, it was just like, it almost made me cry. It was just really sad what they almost, all of them individually, um, went through. And whew, I feel like, um, all the houses had sad story, obviously, because, um, besides like House of Ninja, everybody, almost everybody are queer and you know, especially when you're black and male, it's just it's just really hard for people, you know, for them to navigate the world. And growing up, I'm sure that was like really hard for them. So it's very understandable that everybody not understandable, but it's I understand and expected them to have like sad stories here and there. And um, I feel like theirs was the saddest. So when it came to their performance, I, 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 didn't, I didn't really like it. And again, yet again, I um, agree with Leomi. I just feel like they were missing something. And I feel like th their next performance, they probably were going to bring it. Th this was my thought in the moment before I saw the second episode. Um, I just thought like, eh. It was okay, but I did like um, their outfit. It was very, for me, it was like really goth. Like if you've seen the movie Hackers, that's what it reminded me of. Like it, it just looked like a bunch of like goth kids, like, but like edgy and fun. But that's the, it just gave me like hacker vibes. And um, I, I really, really like it. Was that it? Did I go through all the houses? Oh my God, I did. So my final thoughts on just the first episode, um, I didn't agree that the ninja should have won. I liked their performance. I would say they probably one of my favorites so far in the show, um, but they didn't give me, I feel like House of Long Vaughn should have won. Um, yeah, I feel like House of Long Vaughn should have won and I don't think ninja should have won that round like the the legendary what is it called the legendary trophy yeah I don't think they should have won it at all so I was just like I, I'm thankful that nobody went home this episode because if anybody else had went home I would have been upset and then the fact that House of Ninja won it I, I just didn't think they deserved to win it I thought they were really good and I really liked their performance maybe that's what they thought but then if that was their reasoning what they thought like everything was cohesive their dancing their hair and makeup their body their outfit if all of that was a determining factor that wasn't the determining factor for episode two and let's get into episode two now
because guys uh 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 so episode 2 the theme for episode 2 is fairy tale and it was once upon a time so coming down the runway from episode 1 to this episode Leomi just be coming out on the runway like <laughs> She excites me so much, and I, I just love it. I love it. Um, Meg the Stallion, listen, her makeup in the first episode and her makeup in this episode, fire. Fire. I think, you know what? Whoever, hopefully I don't overpromise myself. Whoever, whoever's, what am I trying to say? Whoever makeup, the makeup that I like the most from the judges, I think every episode when I'm doing a review, that's the makeup I'm gonna have on in the video. Just to give, you know, just to give the review a little oomph. Um, if I like more than one simultaneously, like from the judges, I might mix it up, but um, I love it. Like it's giving me, I just, I don't know. I love the show. Like I like it more than I don't like it. So I like it 92%, the other 8%, they got a lot of work to do with that. and that. 8% has to do with the judges. I need them to figure it out. But let's go through this. I want to try to speed this up so it's not too long. This episode, they brought on Tyson Beckford. And I like, if this is what they're going to do each and every episode, I'm really going to like that, that they're bringing on a fifth judge. Um, I felt like half of the time that they were judging, like he was aware. And then half of the time he was like clueless. <laughs> I just, that's, he, he might have not been, but he looked clueless to me. So, um, for this, the way I'm critiquing the episode is I am looking for the people that perform each challenge the most for each category. And that's who I think should win each episode like each trophy and should like not be out of the houses that has to like battle or do whatever at the end of the show when it comes to the last two teams. For me personally, I'm not saying that the, the wow, I'm not saying that that's what the judges have to do, but I feel like that would be the smart thing to do when you're judging this type of show. Anyway, the first one was Rapunzel effect. So they basically had to like, come down the runway and just, <laughs> I can't do it because this is a wig I have in my head and I'm, I'm not doing, I can't, nope. But basically, you guys, you guys will see. Um, they just, they had to come down the runway and they had to choose, like each house had to present each person, like whatever category that they're gonna do. So the Rapunzel effect, um, let me tell you the people that went against each other. So it was for, House of Saint Laurent, it was it was Champ and he got tens across the board. House of Ninja, it was Shiz Shizzy. She's um she was my favorite in this category. She also got um tens across the board. House of Gucci Gucci, it was Jeter. He did really, really good. Um I think he was like my second favorite. Um House of Ebony was Japari. <laughs> I love that name, Japari. Japari. Like, imagine calling your daughter Japari. <laughs> Anywho, um, the first wig drop, like when um, they came on stage and the first wig dropped, I was like, <gasps> I thought that's when, um, I don't know what they identify as, so I'm going to say that. Um, but I think. She, they identify as she. Anyway, they came on the stage and that first wig drop, it was everything. It looked, <laughs> it looked so good. But like instantly I saw what was happening. I was like, yes. And um, they kept dancing. So I thought that was really, really good. Um, how, the next was the House of Escada and it was London. It didn't do it for me at all. And I wasn't surprised that um, he got chopped. Next was House of Lavon. It was Michaela. Michaela killed it. Killed it. Michaela killed it. I loved it. Um, the next was House of Bauman, and the person to represent that was Calypso. And uh, I thought with all of that hair, she was going to come on the stage and eat everybody up. 
and it didn't. <laughs> it did not. It did not go down. It did not go down for me. I just want to say, let me keep going. I'm I'm gonna say that later. Um, but yeah, I had some bomb on. They they got chopped, and it was no. And then last but not least was House of West. And I was so sad that Destiny's wig fell off. And obviously that automatically disqualified him. I just, I was like, dang. It was, I felt like he was at the point where he was excited to dance. And it just did not, it, it did not, <laughs> it did not do it. So then they had to battle. So it was Champ versus Shiz, Chise, Ch oh my God, Shaze. But between them two, Ninja won and Ninja deserved um, to win that category to me. And then next was Michaela and Jeter. Well, yeah, Michaela versus Jeter versus Japari. And in that category, I thought Jeter should have won. Jeter should have definitely won that. And then so it was the last one, the very, very last you know, battle for that, for the Rapunzel effect was House of Ninja versus House of uh, Lanvan. And Ninja, she, she ate that up. Shizé ate that up. She, I really, I'm messing up her name. I feel so bad. So the next category is Mirror Mirror. And that's when you're serving face. Okay. Serving face. So, um, Lanvan brought Erica on stage to, I'm, I'm just reading, sorry, if I'm not giving you eye contact, I'm just, I'm just trying to read this, so we're not here forever. Um, Lanvan brought out Erica, and I like the costume, but that was, like, her costume, I would say, is, for me, was my favorite, it looked just like giving me all Maleficent vibes, and I loved it. But that was it. I was I don't think Erica was given that much face. But House of West gave us Wilmer. I didn't I didn't see it for House of West. It did, it was no 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 no. <laughs> um, House of Gucci brought Jarrell, and Jarrell is very beautiful. He's very handsome, but it was man. He's just pretty it wasn't ser wasn't really serving anything he's just pretty he just he's just gorgeous to look at um house of ninja bro jamie like they were not the judges were not feeling jamie at all and neither was i um house of Balmain brought out cali and i thought that cali is very handsome and that was it. It wasn't serving, like, just like Jarrell, it wasn't serving anything. And I agree with Le Leomi. Like, he's very handsome. Like, he's very, very, very handsome. But that was it. Um, House of Escada brought out Cheyenne. Cheyenne, I guess, was not serving them anything. She was not giving the judges anything because they chopped her. And I was like, damn, she ain't never come close enough. She didn't even get close enough for, for them to just, like, they chopped her. And I was just like, okay. What's the, how are you guys deciding this together? Like it was not the the decision making to me was not cohesive. It's like some people were saying yes and some people were saying no, and it wasn't clear who was saying yes and who had to say so and who gets chopped or not. So that was very messy. That's what I didn't like about this episode, and that's what I don't like about the show and the judges. Um, next was Hasa Saint Laurent. bodied okay tens across the board bodied it bodied okay and then i just it just was good hasa saint laurent was who was it it was christian it was christian right it was christian and ate it he ate it um so the battle had it came down to who did it come down? It came down to let me see. The people that had to battle out. Sorry, y'all. It was Lanvan versus Gucci, and then Saint Laurent 
versus Ebony and Christian obviously won that because hello. And Lanvin versus Gucci, I actually thought Jarrell did better than Erica. So the next, and this is the, I think this was the category that got me heated. Okay, heated. Next was the three fab mice. Um, so during the confessional, I know Jarrell, Jarrell, which is House of Balmain, said, I'm going to keep calling House of Balmain. I'm going to call the house what it is in real life. House of Balmain. But House of Balmain, House of Balmain, Balmain, House of Balmain. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say House of Balmain. Um, Jarrell, at the end of, or oh, during the confessional, he was saying that he definitely knows that they're not going to be at the bottom. And he was at the bottom. His house was at the bottom, too. And same thing for House of West when they were like, they would win and they wouldn't go home. And then <laughs> at the end of this episode, they went home. Like, anyway, during the three fab mice, I thought that House of Saint Laurent did really, really well. I don't know why they were chopped at all. I don't, I, I didn't get it. Um, House of Lanvin, they, they were blah. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling, and then, I feel like when they're judging, they need to judge each category. Like whatever is in that category, all of that needs to make sense for you to either chop or keep them. Like they didn't look like mice. They just looked like three people on stage. Um, House of Balmain, when they came on stage, they didn't look, uh, they didn't look cohesive. It wasn't in sync at all for me whatsoever. Um, House of Ninja, they didn't do it for me either. They <laughs> just, <laughs> I felt like this whole section, this whole category was a mess, okay? It was like nobody was clear on what the, um, what the, what is the word I'm trying to look for? How it was definitely going to be judged. They were just all over the place. It wasn't like, pa, 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 pa. Like, they weren't, it was a mess. Some people got it better than others, but I feel like it was a mess. Um, House of Ebony looked a mess as soon as they hit the stage. As soon as they hit the stage. I was just like, no. No. Um, next was House of Escada. They looked really, really sloppy. Um, they, like, they looked confused. They looked messy. And Jamila, there's nothing that she has said I feel like I've agreed with. At all. Like... Girl, you got good taste? What's going on? I'm not, I'm just, no, no, no. So for me, House of West, they, I think they did really, really well. Um, this is the place I feel like I don't like the way, like the judging system. If you have five people judging something, one person, if four say we're saving this person or this house, one person shouldn't have to say so to then chop them. Four outweighs one or three outweighs one. So I don't understand why House of West was chopped. The judges need to really, really consider. They need to know how they're going to consider who is winning each category because it just didn't make sense to me. Or even not winning each category on who is getting chopped. They all need to decide. If there's three people that are saying they're getting kept, they're getting kept. If it's four people saying that they're getting chopped, they're getting chopped. Like, I didn't like that. They all were confused. They didn't know who was chopping each other. They didn't know what was what. Like, it, it, they were confused. Now, I've never been to a ball show, and I don't know if that's how it's done, but I feel like if that's how it's done, they, on the TV show, you need some form of cohesiveness because it looked all over the place and they looked confused. And I'm just like, did y'all know what, what what's happening? Are y'all on the same show? Like, what? I just, I don't know. I just, I didn't like that at all. They need to figure that out. So next is House of Gucci. They also looked a mess. <laughs> this, this, just this whole thing was just a mess. So the battle for three, um, what was it? 
three mice, three blind mice, three mice. Let me look. Is it three blind mice? Three fab mice. Um, so when they were battling, it was Hasa Lanvan and um, Escada, and Hasa Lanvan won. Um, so at the end of all of this, the bottom two houses were House of West and House of Balmain. And in all honesty, I feel like House of Balmain should have went home because in each and every category, they got chopped. So that should have been a deciding factor. You can't say, well, they didn't do good in that category. They didn't do good in that category. They didn't do good in that category. But because you like their battle, even that, and then the judges were still like not clear on that. Um, and I feel like when it comes to that, they need to show us the deliberation because in other shows like this, we see what, who's agreeing on what, and they just, Jamila just spoke up. Um, I feel like House of Ebony, they should have been in the bottom with House of Balmain. I don't agree that House of West should have went home at all, like at all. Okay. Um, their deciding factor that they gave us was basically that they see how, um, the house father for House of Balmain is very passionate about his kids. All the house fathers and house mothers are passionate about their house kids too, but that's not, that should not be a deciding factor. I feel like they need to get it together. They need to understand what they're doing and they need to do better in the next episode. And the next episode, um, the theme is circus and I'm already, I'm already so excited. Oh, I can't wait to watch it. I'm already really, really excited for that. But I just, I was pissed. I was pissed that, um, like House of Balmain got to stay. Cause I feel like from House of West, Wilmer killed, he killed the end battle, and I feel like they should have been saved, not House of Balmain. I feel like they did good too, but if you got chopped in every category, how are you staying? I don't, I don't understand that. I don't, it just, these need to be the deciding factor, like, going forward. I don't know if it's going to happen, if they're still going to be confused to the end of the season, um, but it just, it just was all over the place, and I didn't like that. Um, so my final thoughts on this so far, I know Jamila is an executive producer. I feel like I said this earlier and I feel like maybe they're giving her the say so she's able to just decide what she wants and is just putting it out there as far as who's staying and who's going. But I, none of the decisions or anything that she said about any of the houses, episode one or episode two, I agreed with. And I was just like, this, it made no sense to me. She just, it made no sense. But I just want to say her hair and makeup and her outfit, glorious. She looked gorgeous. All of them, the host, like Wesley, oh, he looks so regal. I just love him. Um, all of them, they look really, really nice. I, I just, I love them. All of them re look really, really good. Um, I think that was really it um, as far as what I didn't like. Like I said, they need to show us the deliberation. They need to be cohesive in their decision making and they need to show us why or tell us why they made the decisions that they made. Like, why are you sending these people home? Not just because I felt like the love for your house kids is what's going to have you say because then all of them should stay or all of them should go. So they need they need to do better. I said what I said, and I'm not taking it back. But I hope you guys have liked this review. I'm going to, you know, this is like, I'm not used to reviewing movies and TV shows that much. It's just something that I'm really passionate about. So the more I do them, the more comfortable I will be not looking at my notes like this and giving y'all <laughs> what I'm trying to say. And because, like I said, wow, my stomach is growling. Um, like I said, I wrote down my notes so the f feelings weren't as fresh in my mind. I wrote down my notes when this premiered, and that was like a week ago. Um, so I'm just like now in the right mental state to like just film this video. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I want to do more newer shows that are coming out. I don't want to like pick up something that's already out there because then I just don't want this to be all over the place. And it's a lot of new shows on Netflix. 
it's for me i'd like to break down stuff scene by scene or is there happening of importance um so reviewing something that's on netflix that's not a movie is really hard because some of them it's, it's a lot happening and just to review it in like 12 minutes i don't have time for that um no so once things start coming out and they drop episode by episode that's what i'm going to be doing in movies when i miss going to the movies <gasps> i miss it okay thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one